Hey guys, this is Eric from Gotham Games here with a first look at Destiny. Um, so far this game looks pretty okay. That's interesting. Um, so far the game looks pretty good. Um, as far as alpha builds, this is this beats most beta builds out there in the market. So if that tells you anything, um, this game's good. Okay, we got a you know, we got a friend over here. Cool. Oh boy. All right. So I'm gonna get right into the my little uh, first take impressions of this game while I kill some people here. Um, so far, the game looks graphically uh, pretty good. It's running nice on the next gen consoles. Um, I mean, nothing amazing, but it's looking good. We got a little end dog. All right, let's see here. Let's both go on our vehicles here. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's talking to somebody. Um. So yeah, go back, uh, going back to the gameplay, um, the gun mechanics feel really nice, uh, tight, um, it's similar to Call of Duty. The game actually has recoil on the guns, which is nice, it adds a little bit more difficulty, unlike other games like Borderlands 2, um, even though those guns are like a lot of futuristic crazy, just trying to come up with whatever they can at the time. Um, so the game, <clears throat> so yeah, the guns are good. Uh, I guess I could describe some of the gun mechanics and stuff. Um, I mean, you start out in the alpha, you get a shotgun and a assault rifle, um, and then you also have a grenade, which I'll throw right there, which I missed. Uh, the grenade mechanics are a little, I, you have to get used to it. It's similar to Halo. As far as like, there's no aiming with it. Like you just kind of have to know where it's gonna go. Um, just playing the game more will get you uh, accustomed to that in general. Um, now I am tearing through these guys pretty easily because I have played a level and I think I'm level four, so I'm a little bit higher than them. The leveling system is very, very. It's almost actually okay. It's a copy of Borderlands 2 and how the AI uh, enemies work and how you level up. So if you're a couple levels higher than them, you can basically take them on. And if they're a couple levels higher than you, then vice versa, they can probably kill you a lot easier. Um, you got a little, if you hit R3 here, you can then go to options and interact. All right, <clears throat> anyways, back to the game. This game does remind me a lot of Borderlands 2 and a mix of Halo, so it it's like those two games came together and made this game. So it's if you like either of those games, especially Borderlands 2, if you like Borderlands 2, there's no reason why you shouldn't like this game. Um, it feels very similar. As you can see, you even shoot things and numbers come up just like Borderlands 2, showing your damage. Um, I think Bungie just fell in love with uh, how uh, Gearbox did their games and just wanted to apply that to their own. Um, I mean, of course, we can't really tell who came up with the game, like, who came up with the mechanic first. I'm very much assuming it was Borderlands, but this was a five or a half a billion dollar game, so who knows how long it was actually in development. Um, the game, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe comes out this fall to both Xbox One and PS4. So if you have either of those consoles, it's it's a definite pickup. It's probably the best third-party game. Just from the alpha alone, I can tell this is probably going to be the best third-party game of the year. Uh, maybe even game of the year candidate. I know that's got, it's going on a limb, but it just... It just it, Bungie spent a lot of time um, making this alpha really good. I mean, it's kind of your first first uh, foot uh, forward, and you can't redo first impressions, so maybe they spent a bunch of time on this, and maybe the rest of the game's not that polished, which I can understand, um, but so far, colored me impressed. Ah, there's so many guys here. 
I mean, it's it's nice though too because like in Borderlands 2, you can just like fly through enemies like they're not even there, and most of the time you can even like just not even fight them. But as you can see, these guys are like smarter than most AIs. They're like trying to flank me faster than most would. Uh, this guy was just actually right over here, um, which was cool. I wonder if there's like. I mean, obviously the game's probably gonna get harder as you level up and whatnot. Let's see. Reloading. Let's reload all of the guns at the same time. I'm just gonna finish these guys off and then I'll sum it up for you guys. Uh, I mean, there's not much else to the alpha. I mean, it's. I played the first uh, mission through. Um, got my levels up. Oh, I can show you. I should show you guys the inventory screen. Dang, that guy looks like a. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, let's get on a vehicle here. One nice thing I gotta say right away is when you summon a vehicle, it just throws you on it like right away. But one thing you have to keep in mind though is after a while your vehicle does um, disappear like so. Uh, so. You have to be careful of that if you're fighting guys and you want a quick escape. Um, it's not too much of a hassle to spawn another one because you immediately, the animation is to jump right onto it right away. I don't know why other games don't do this as much. Uh, it'd be nice, but it's a nice little feature uh, Bungie added in. So as you can tell, this is very reminiscent of the <clears throat> Star Wars battle bikes, whatever you want to call them. I'm sure there's an official name that I'm messing up right now, but they're they're basically the same thing. I mean, it's definitely fun to ride them. So, you got your boost and then there's like a handbrake kind of thing, I guess? I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's go into the menu system for you guys. Um, so you have, this is your ta uh, touchpad, so if you click this in, then you can go to your Ghost, which they're called, I guess. And then you can also customize your ghost skin also. Um, so you can press triangle to go to orbit or press a square to get your vehicle back. And if you hit start, you can go to your inventory screen. As you guys can see, I'm level four. Um, you hit triangle to go to details, and then here's all of your uh, statistics and skills. As you can see, some of these actually make your three main stats go up and down, or up. I don't think any of them would go down. That wouldn't make sense. Um, you have your armor, which is self-explanatory. Your recovery is your um, health regen, and then your agility is your jump height and movement speed, which is very simple. I like it. Um, gets the point across, and then any damage you have is just your guns, which are right here. You have your three slots you can fill. Um, I'm not sure if heavy weapons are available within alpha or not. Uh, I haven't discovered those yet. Um, so you have your primary your special weapons, and then your heavy weapons right here. And then you have uh, your general armor stuff. Um, they do change uh, with what you collect, or what you select, I mean. And the gauntlets were changed and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, mark of the reason. Not sure what this is. But, I mean, we'll just leave that alone for now. Uh, like I said before, your ghost uh, shell, it's called. You can change that. Um, right now, it's just the generic white. And then you can also change your bike. I'm not sure if you can change the color or if it's just you have... There's nine slots here. I'm not sure if you can just select nine different vehicles within your inventory to have up. That would be nice. Um, also, if you can change the color of the vehicle, that would be kind of awesome, too. Just some thoughts. Uh, ship is your uh, orbiting ship. I'm not too sure why you'd want to change this outside of colors since it doesn't add it or subtract any gameplay within the game. Like there's no real function of it outside of just looking pretty. At least that I know of within the alpha. Um, and then you have your inventory here. Um, this is really laid out quite nice. You have your materials, everything is just Everything you'll need is right here. You don't have to go through multiple menu systems to get exactly what you want. Um, not too sure exactly what the currency... I believe this is the currency within the system, is uh, Glimmer. So, 
Yeah. So there you go. Oh, let's, uh, I guess we can go to the roster. It shows your friends and stuff. And then your just your basic settings outside of that. I don't know if there's anything else I can show you guys. Uh, I guess I should end it on a good note, you think? So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, here we go. There you go. Just a little, little ground pounder for the fans there. Oh, there's a bird. Well, that's it, guys. Overall, I'm very impressed with the game. Um, the gun mechanics work quite well, along with the vehicle mechanics. Um, everything feels right and tight. Uh, visually, the game looks amazing, and it runs quite smooth at, on the PS4, and that's pretty impressive for an alpha build. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is better than most beta builds out there. So, so if you guys are excited about Destiny, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, if you guys are new to the channel and like this commentary, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out here. And we'll see you next time on Gotham Games.